Super Micro Computers Inc. is currently trading above $700 per share. But you would be surprised to know that we first recommended this stock to our private Discord members near 118 and then near 260 when it dipped a little bit. Majority of the members bought near 118 and then at 260 and then made huge life-changing returns. Nowadays, I'm bombarded with messages of thanks and appreciation. Other stocks like CRM, BitF, NVO, and ARM Holdings have also performed exceptionally. If you are interested in receiving quality buy-sell recommendations on a regular basis, well then consider joining our private Discord server through Patreon. Link to join is given below in the description. Thanks, and see you on the other side after the video. Please continue watching today's video. In this video, we are unraveling the mysteries behind Berkshire Hathaway's fourth quarter 13F filing, a document that was lovingly shared with the world on February 14th, giving us a Valentine's Day glimpse into the minds of two of the greatest investors in history. This filing is not just any report, it is a quarterly window into the strategic maneuvers within Berkshire's publicly traded equity portfolio. Sadly, we mark a poignant milestone in this filing. Charlie Munger, a titan of the investing world, passed away in late November of 2023, just shy of his 100th birthday. This makes the recent 13F filing the last to bear his influence, a fitting tribute to a man whose legacy in the world of finance is unparalleled. Berkshire Hathaway's investment portfolio is a colossus, valued at $347 billion and comprising 41 companies. Despite being four holdings lighter than the previous quarter, these investments represent a carefully curated collection of assets, more than 80% of which are held in the top five positions we'll be exploring today. While the upcoming filings, alongside earnings, will shed more light, Initial estimates from the 13F suggest that Berkshire was a net seller of stocks during the quarter, a move that surely has underlying strategies worth deciphering. In this video, we will delve into these top five holdings, unpacking the strategies, the decisions, and the foresight that have guided these choices. For anyone keen on the art and science of individual investing, Warren Buffett's writings are akin to a treasure map offering rich insights and guiding principles for navigating the often turbulent waters of the stock market. Let's dive in. Apple Inc, ticker symbol AAPL, stands as a beacon of innovation and resilience in the tech world, with its position in Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio further testament to its remarkable journey. Holding the crown as the largest stake in Berkshire's 13F portfolio, Apple's allure is not just in its products, but in the strategic acumen behind its investments. Initiated between Q1 of 2016 and Q1 of 2018 at an approximate cost basis of $35 per share, AAPL stock now hovers at around $184, showcasing an impressive trajectory of growth and stability, even as Berkshire slightly trimmed its stake by about 1% this quarter. With Berkshire Hathaway owning approximately 6% of Apple, it is a significant endorsement of the tech giant's business model and future prospects. Apple's latest quarterly earnings highlighted a robust performance, defying the soft microenvironment that has challenged peers like Samsung Electronics. The iPhone, representing 58% of total sales, has not just remained resilient, but has thrived, capitalizing on a solid 8% rebound in the smartphone market in Q4. This resilience and growth are not mere happenstance, but a reflection of Apple's deep understanding of its market and its ability to innovate and adapt. Beyond hardware, Apple's services segment stands as a burgeoning pillar of growth. With around 1.5 billion active iPhones worldwide, the potential for service revenue expansion is immense. The brand loyalty Apple enjoys with a staggering 79% customer loyalty rate lays a robust foundation for growth, especially in services. This segment, fueled by subscriptions, payment services, and advertising income, is poised to become a primary growth catalyst, backed by Apple's consistent innovation and a strategic push into artificial intelligence. The introduction of groundbreaking devices like the Vision Pro underscores Apple's relentless pursuit of innovation. While skepticism exists, especially concerning its price and comfort, the potential for such devices to redefine entertainment and professional settings cannot be overstated. 
Apple's track record of turning skepticism into widespread adoption, much like the initial doubts surrounding the iPhone, suggests a bright future for the Vision Pro, and, by extension, for Apple's continued dominance in tech innovation. Let's turn to Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC, the second largest holding in Berkshire Hathaway's illustrious portfolio, which exemplifies strategic investing acumen through its substantial position, established through the exercise of warrants at an impressively low strike price. With Berkshire's cost basis at around $14 and a current trading price of $33.13, this stake underscores a calculated bet on one of the financial sector's stalwarts, bolstered by a 13% ownership stake. The narrative surrounding Bank of America has been fraught with speculation, particularly concerning hold-to-maturity issues that have stirred undue fears within the investment community. However, a closer examination reveals a substantial opportunity for those well-versed in the nuances of money and banking. The bank's adept matching of debt securities amid fluctuating interest rates showcases its strategic prowess in navigating financial complexities. The receding paper losses, once a concern, have significantly diminished as the market adjusts its outlook towards favorable interest rate movements, highlighting the bank's resilient and forward-thinking management. Bank of America's adeptness at maintaining a healthy spread between the costs of deposits and income generation is a testament to its operational excellence. The bank's large scale allows for sophisticated projections and adjustments, ensuring the viability of its hold to maturity securities. Furthermore, the bank's diversified portfolio, including non-banking businesses, provides a robust buffer against market volatility, underscoring its financial strength and strategic adaptability. American Express, ticker symbol AXP, the third largest gem in Berkshire Hathaway's treasure trove, stands as a testament to Warren Buffett's belief in holding quote-unquote permanently. With a staggering 20% stake and a cost basis of around $8.49, Berkshire's bet on American Express underlines a conviction in its enduring value and unparalleled position within the financial sector. This is not just an investment, it's a proclamation of faith in a company that has navigated the ebbs and flows of financial innovation and demographic shifts with aplomb since the mid-19th century. American Express's strategic positioning is nothing short of legendary, catering to the high-value segment of the market with a finesse that Visa or MasterCard has yet to replicate. Its focus on premium clientele, who command a significant share of wealth in an increasingly stratified society, has not only cemented its status as a symbol of affluence, but has also ensured its resilience and growth through generations. The strategic pivot to attract younger generations, once considered peripheral, signifies a forward-looking approach that blends heritage with innovation. The company's intrinsic value, underscored by models like the Peter Lynch fair value and 10-year discounted cash flow analyses, hints at significant upside, advocating for ownership over trading. This bullish sentiment is further bolstered by American Express's adept navigation of consumer credit risks, its strategic inroads into wealthy clientels, and an unparalleled brand reputation that promises to thrive amidst the generational transfer of wealth. Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO, a cornerstone of Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio, embodies the quintessence of a blue-chip investment with its remarkable brand dominance and strategic market positioning. With Berkshire holding approximately 9.2% of KO and a cost basis of a mere $3.25, the investment in Coca-Cola is a testament to Warren Buffett's faith in the enduring value of brands that possess a deep moat. Coca-Cola's unparalleled brand presence, towering above its peers with a significant lead, is not just a testament to its marketing prowess, but a strategic advantage that has allowed it to command superior margins and profitability. The genius of Coca-Cola lies in its high-margin business model, where the company earns substantial profits by leveraging its trademark, despite a minimal role in the actual manufacturing and bottling process. This model allows Coca-Cola to channel its resources into expanding its business territories and rewarding shareholders with handsome dividends, evident from the upward trend in dividend payouts and yields. Moreover, Coca-Cola's stability and growth in its largest market, North America, where it enjoys a market share well above 40%, underscore its dominance in the non-alcoholic beverage space. This stability, 
coupled with an all-time high market share of 46.3% in fiscal year 22, signals Coca-Cola's unmatched position and potential for continued profit generation. Let's turn to the fifth largest holding of Berkshire Hathaway, and that is Chevron Corp, ticker symbol CVX. Chevron is a key fixture in Berkshire Hathaway's investment portfolio, epitomizing the strategic acumen of one of the world's most renowned investors. Acquired in a series of calculated moves since Q3 of 2020, Chevron's inclusion and subsequent stake adjustments reflect a nuanced understanding of the energy sector's dynamics and the intrinsic value of this energy behemoth. With Berkshire commanding a 6.2% stake, and the stock trading at around $151, Chevron's journey through market fluctuations underscores its resilience and appeal to long-term investors. Chevron's dividend record is a standout, with an impressive streak of increasing dividends for 36 consecutive years, a testament to its robust financial health and commitment to shareholder returns. This consistency not only surpasses Peter Lynch's criterion for a strong dividend record, but also highlights Chevron's enduring moat in a volatile industry. Such a dividend history speaks volumes about Chevron's operational excellence and strategic foresight. The valuation of Chevron, when viewed through the lens of the Lynch-Peggy ratio, becomes even more compelling. Despite a seemingly high P-to-E ratio, Chevron's valuation is attractively positioned when considering its dividend growth rate and current dividend yield. The resulting PEGI ratio, hovering around Lynch's ideal of 1x, underscores Chevron's attractiveness relative to peers, offering a balanced perspective on growth and yield. Moreover, Chevron's commitment to shareholder value is further evidenced by its consistent share buyback programs. These buybacks, significantly boosting shareholder returns annually, echo Lynch's view of buybacks as a bullish signal from management regarding the company's stock value. Despite the inherent risks of the energy sector, including macroeconomic uncertainties and environmental regulations, Chevron's strategic inventory management stands out. By maintaining a lower inventory level, Chevron adeptly mitigates the risks associated with commodity price volatility and operational costs, enhancing its financial stability and operational efficiency.